Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to post your whiteboard to Microsoft Teams. So why would you want to post your whiteboard to Microsoft Teams? Well, you might be working in a group or on your own in whiteboard, come up with some ideas, some things you wanna share, and this allows you to post it directly to Teams so you can get some feedback or perhaps carry on working on it within Teams. So let me show you how it works. So I've got a whiteboard here called Pug Poncho, and this is my brilliant idea for a, a Pug Poncho. And if I want to share it to Teams, I just come up to the waffle menu here and choose Post to Teams. That's gonna ask me which of the teams that I belong to I wanna post it to. So first I have to choose the team. I'm gonna go Retail, and then it asks me for the channel. I'm gonna choose the general channel here. And it shows me what I'm publishing and I just hit post there and it posts it to the channel. So now let me switch to Teams and I'll show you what that looks like. Now I've come to the retail team and I'm looking in the general channel. You can see here there's a new post here from Matt called Pug Poncho. And if I hit the link, it will take me directly to the whiteboard app and open up that whiteboard canvas for me. Now I've switched browsers and I'm logged in as Megan. And you can see Megan's in the retail general channel and she sees Matt's post here, Pug Poncho link. And if I click in the link in the browser, it will offer me a choice of whether I wanna open it in the whiteboard app or in the browser. A benefit here is that you don't need the app installed on your machine to view it. So I can hit view on the web and it'll open that same Pug Poncho whiteboard in the browser and I'll be able to see it and work on it. It's a little time saver for the person that posted the whiteboard because they don't have to name anybody. They can just post it straight to Teams and then anyone that has access to that channel can just open it up on whatever device they're on. Switching back to the whiteboard now, I'm back as Matt. You can see I'm logged in here as Matt. And you can see now Megan has opened up my whiteboard from Teams. Megan's presence is indicated there and I can see that she's now a participant and all the other people that jump in through Teams will also be listed here. So I'll be able to see who's actively viewing and working on the whiteboard with me. Okay, so that's how you post your whiteboard to Teams. I hope that helps and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.